Good morning, everybody. Kind of an interesting phenomenon going on in the southern end of Lake Michigan right now. What we have is a derecho. It's this big thunderstorm complex. A derecho is just a long-lived windstorm. Now, I blogged about this back in April because we had a huge derecho move through the Carolinas, caused a lot of damage here back in April. Now, this derecho just moved across the southern end of Lake Michigan and there is a lakeshore flood warning up for Illinois and possibly even parts of Wisconsin because of something called a seiche. Seiche is kind of a, a sloshing of the water in an inland uh, lake or bayou or pond. Now I've seen these happen before in the Great Lakes because of thunderstorms and also because of distant earthquakes. Even in southeast Louisiana when I worked there, Lake Pontchartrain and the in, inland uh, canals and bayous sometimes would slosh around when a certain frequency of seismic wave was produced by a distant earthquake. This is not an earthquake induced seiche, this is a wind driven seiche. And the reason we're seeing that is we had 70 to 80 mile an hour winds move across the southern end of Lake Michigan. You see this big Boeing segment. That was wind pushing the water from the western shore all the way to the eastern shore of Lake Michigan. Well, once the storm passes, the wind is no longer pushing that water. The water wants to rush back to the other side of the lake. So there's likely going to be a two foot rise in water uh, on the shoreline here of. Illinois, maybe in the Chicago lakefront. So for that reason, a sage warning has been issued. It's kind of an interesting phenomenon, but when you get these large bowing segments, especially in an area like Lake Michigan, where you're pushing water from one side of the lake to the other, and then the storm moves on, that water's going to want to rush back to the other side. Uh, there was a, a, a buoy out here north of Michigan City that had an 85 mile an hour wind gust. Now that's going to push a lot of water. Eventually that water is going to want to rush back to the other side. So kind of an interesting phenomenon. Check out the warning. Should be interesting to see how much of a water rise they get on Lake Michigan. But something you don't see all the time, especially in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, we'll have to see how things unfold. But uh, stay, stay tuned to my Twitter feed and my Facebook and Google Plus account. We'll keep you up to date and see what, what kind of safe we get if it's one to two feet or if it causes any damage on the lakeshore uh, up there in Illinois near Chicago.